Hi guys, it's Dr. Kelly Lip here. I'm going to talk to you all about enamel hypoplasia, what it is, and how we will treat it. Here you can see a picture of normal enamel, or a healthy outer tooth layer. You can see here that this tooth has a consistent white appearance. And here you can see hypoplastic enamel outlined where the tooth structure is more creamy or opaque in color. Enamel hypoplasia is a defect in the formation of the outer layer of the tooth, also known as the enamel. It's a developmental defect, meaning that it's completely unrelated to how well your child is brushing his or her teeth. The cause of enamel hypoplasia isn't entirely known, but it's thought to be caused by disruption while the cells are forming the enamel, such as a high fever around birth. Teeth with enamel hypoplasia are softer, and they're more prone to have discoloration, which can range from yellow, orange to brown, hypersensitivity to hot and cold, chipping, and these teeth are also more prone to cavities. Here we can see the different classifications of enamel hypoplasia, ranging from mild, moderate, severe, to severe and broken down. With mild enamel hypoplasia, we will either just monitor it, recommend a prescription toothpaste, or recommend a protective sealant coating. For moderate enamel hypoplasia, we will often recommend a tooth colored filling to replace the defective tooth structure and to decrease sensitivity. This is very similar to a filling procedure that we would do for a cavity, but instead of decayed tooth structure, we are replacing hypoplastic tooth structure. For severe hypoplasia, we may recommend a crown which will cover all of the defective enamel to protect the entire tooth. And in very severe cases where the tooth is very broken down and symptomatic, removing the tooth is occasionally the recommendation as a last resort. Based on the appearance of your child's tooth, we will determine the best treatment options. Thank you.